good morning from this part of the world and I welcome you to another episode of my weekend market analysis series. As always, in preparation for the upcoming week, we are going to be revisiting the Hexi USD chart, aiming to understand the sentiment in this market through the lens of fundamental and price action based analysis. Well, last week we had an interesting bullish momentum as price action rose into that $2,480 level. And this was coming, um, this was an immediate reaction to the disappointing US labor market that's on Friday. And after testing this um, area, we saw a um, gold reverses direction. Um, declining right back into the $2,420 area. And this could be attributed to profit-taking activities ahead of the, of the weekend. Now, let's look at what the structure was looking like um, at the beginning of last week's trading session and what led to us buying this um, asset. And if you remember vividly, um, we had a descending channel proud to the beginning of last week where we had the resistant line of that descending channel right here and of course the breakout retest of that this of that resistant line was all we needed to continue that uptrend move as price broke out of our key level at the $2,390 area. If you are interested in understanding um, how we took advantage of these opportunities um, you can check the link right in the description box below uh, for a detailed breakdown of each of our entry points now um, in preparation for next week what are our plans and how do we intend to capitalize on any potential move However, it's important for us to also note the various factors behind the scenes that will be influencing the sentiment in this market. Um, based on what we have on ground right now, chances that the Fed might lower interest rates in the month of September has actually increased. And if we consider the labor data on Friday, which came in below market expectation, this is another um, reason for us to be positive in that direction and of course the US Treasury bond yield also plummeted as a result of this as we saw it fall by 16 basis points to about 3.815 percent its lowest level since the month of March and of course this may be um, a very very good reason for um, gold prices to rise then another reason that could also drive the ascent of gold prices is the geopolitical tensions in the Middle East, which remains very, very high as Israel awaits a response from Iran and Lebanon following the assassination of the Hamas leader earlier in the week. Now, with the path of Lucius stand for gold looking very bullish ahead of the new week, the question now is what path will this bullish momentum take? How are we going to see price retrace a little bit before the uptrend continuation or will price action continue at the get-go at the beginning of the week? But before we go into the details from a technical standpoint, please note that this presentation is purely for educational purposes and should not be considered financial advice. Forex trading involves inherent risk, so proceed with caution and always seek advice from a qualified financial advisor before making any investment decisions. So with the groundwork laid, let's dive right into the business. So our first point of contact today is going to be on the daily time frame where we do want to be having an holistic perspective into what has been going on in this market, especially since the later part of last year. And if we look at the structure closely, you will see it is obvious that the market has been very bullish and this is what we have been looking out week in, week out through the course of this year. 
and to emphasize the strength of the buyers you can see we have a couple of ascending trend line which obviously has been supporting the uptrend scenario we have one right here but um, the other one down here is not as significant except for this one right here which is going to be playing a significant role in guiding our decisions for next week and of course you know how we do it as long as price remains above the ascending trend line we want to be looking out for patterns and structures that support the idea of buying now zooming into the structure and looking at what has been going on here since um, the month of april that's about um, three four months of historical data you will see that price action is within uncharted territory as we have my new key level for the week situated around the 2420 2425 area has this area you see here has been a significant selling niche uh, since price action tested this record high zone um, in the month of april so look at what we have here selling niche selling niche and not until um, last month mid last month to be precise we saw price finally breaking out of that structure to test a record high at the 2484 though we had a little bit of retracement during the last couple of weeks last week we saw price action climb above again breaking out of that structure and in fact i would love to use the key level within the 2420 and the 2425 as a yardstick to guide my trading decisions for next week will this level become a platform for new highs or how are we going to see price drop back below the structure to insight another sell-off to navigate this current um, structure here i have a simple trading setup on the four hours time frame which we will be using to guide if we are we will be buying or selling next week but before we go into that detail on the four hours time frame it's important or let me say it's time to pay attention to the upcoming economic events that will influence market sentiment next week and of course you know by checking the economic calendar we can identify our upcoming events might affect price action this of course helps us spot potential correlations between key economic releases and specific technical patterns on the chart allowing us to time our positioning more effectively however um, looking at the economic calendar we really do not have much to uh, ponder on this week as you know uh, based on the asset we are looking at we will be focusing on high impactful events and looking at this chart here the only high impactful event that will be coming up next week will come up on monday august 5 and that is the ism services pmi from the united states you see this data here measures the performance of the manufacturing sector in the united states and it has a reading of between 0 to 100 where anything above 50 indicates expansion in the man in the in that sector and anything below 50 is considered as a contraction and of course a indication that um, emphasize expansion can positively impact market sentiment reflecting a healthy and growing manufacturing sector which could uh, favor tractions in favor of the us dollar so this is the only high impactful event we will be looking forward to next week and of course this could be setting the tone for how price action will be for next week now scaling down into the four hours time frame this was what i was able to come up with and what i did here was to consider the character of price action in the last um um in the last three weeks thereabouts and this is especially since price action tested that whole time high had the 2484 and for me i want to consider that move that bearish move to the downside as a retracement of that bullish momentum that got us to that all-time high and this whole move here could be the beginning or the continuation of the uptrend move 
Now, taking a closer look at the structure, you will see that in the last two weeks, the market has been ascending within an ascending channel. So we have the resistant line of the ascending channel right here. And then we have the support line of the ascending channel right here. And despite that profit taking activity prior to um, the end of last week, as you will see here, we saw immediately price action tested the support line of the ascended channel. We saw a sharp rejection back up within that structure. And interesting enough, um, the retest of the ascending, the support line of the ascending channel shares a beautiful confluence with my key zone here which is between the 2425 and the 2420. Now, you would agree with me right now that we are at a crucial juncture where depending on how market participant reacts to this confluence will determine if we will be buying or selling next week. And based on how we use our key level, as long as price remains above the key level, we will continue to look out for patterns and structures that support the idea of buying to continue the uptrend move. However, if price action breaks down our key level and we see selling pressure right below the support line on lower time frame, this will welcome selling ideas. But trust me, I will be with you in the comment section on Monday morning after monitoring how market participant reacts to the structure during the early hours of the new week to decide um, what our next course of action is going to be like. So at this juncture, I will pause the video and if you found this content useful for your independent trading decision this week, I'll be glad if you could hit the thumbs up button. Your support not only means a lot to me, but also helps the video reach more traders who might benefit from the content. Thank you in advance for doing so. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more insights and updates. By subscribing, you will stay informed about my latest videos and commentaries and you will be the first to know when new content drops. See you all in the comment section on Monday morning as we get prepared for the new week. Do have a wonderful evening everyone. Bye. -bye. <laughs>